What we have said for some time now is that we are deeply concerned about the rapid expansion of the PRC's nuclear capabilities, uh, including its development of novel delivery systems. Uh, these developments underscore that the PRC, as we've said before, is deviating from its dec decades-long uh, nuclear strategy based on minimum deterrence. Uh, as of the end of last month, September of 2021, uh, the PRC had launched uh, at least 250 ballistic missiles this year. All of this is concerning, especially concerning, I should say, given the PRC's lack of, trans lack of transparency into its evolving nuclear posture. Uh, and this nuclear buildup, uh, just in our view, reinforces uh, the importance of pursuing practical measures with the PRC to reduce nuclear uh, risks. Um, we have uh, reached out to the PRC. We've made very clear uh, our interest in engaging with the PRC as responsible uh, 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 countries would and do uh, in the context of uh, these um, powerful weapons uh, and weapons uh, systems. Uh, in the meantime, we will continue to maintain the capabilities to defend and to deter against a range of threats uh, from the PRC, um, uh, threats to the United States, threats to our allies, uh, threats to our partners as well. Yes.